Scottsdale, Arizona. Everyone, please stand up. Some of you have some things going on at home. You are going back to an environment where maybe someone's not being supportive. Maybe you have some financial challenges and you're a hair away from bankruptcy. Some of you have some other things going on. You're in denial over your health. You're in a health company and you're chain smoking. I'm not, it's not, I'm not laughing. You don't see a smile on my face right now. Some of you are overweight and you know there's bad things going on. Your doctor has said you need to get on another medication. Some of you have excuses that are bigger than your pain. And what I want to know is, when is now the right time to let your pain be bigger than your excuses and to get out of here and start taking action and stop playing small because if you look around this room, every person in this room, someone took the time to call them to follow up five times, 10 times, 20 times a year, two years, three years, it doesn't matter. There are so many people out there in pain and we have a solution to that pain. You will do no one any favors by going home and playing small. You think by playing small and saying, I can't do this, I have too much fear or whatever, and you are owning your excuses. As long as you own your excuses, they are gonna own you, my sisters. And that has to stop today. Today needs to be the day that you declare, this is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice, I will be gathered in, I will leave here, I will step into my greatness, I will come back here next year with my team and I will be on fire because I spent this next year liberating people from pain. I want to finish with this. Bill Gates said, if we're born into poverty, it's not our fault. If we die in poverty, it is. I want you to give three high fives and say, I'm not dying poor. I want to pass the stage to my sister from another Mr. Miss Gloria Bank.